Alright, you guys, we're back. Part two. Okay, so, um, I had a prepaid phone too. I ain't judge her for what she had or whatever. I really wasn't concerned about that because, honestly, I mean, at the time, we weren't even really worried about each other at the time. Um, so, she told me that she put me in her little favorite thing so that she could talk to me on the phone without using minutes. So, uh, shout out to Altel. Altel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, damn. Hashtag Altel, rest in peace. <laughs> Real. Did you say Altel? No, AT&T bought them. My company. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I work for AT&T now. I got a real job. So, anyway. <clears throat> well, it's actually career what I got. But anyway, that's now what we talking about then. Yeah, right, so, right. So, um, excuse me. <laughs> Time machine. Um, so... We finally get to talk on the phone. My mom got my little brother, so he wasn't really there at the time. I got to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. So, I am talking to her, and we vibing. And then she tells me that, um, you know, I think I tell her, you know, you know, I'm, I'm really considering relationships and stuff like that. And she told me, I told her I'm kind of liking her. At this point, like we were talking, I like how she is. I like her attitude, her personality. Plus, I like the way she looked. She was fine as hell. So I was trying to keep that. And um, so I tell her, you know, I, I open up. You know, I figure, what the hell? I ain't never jumped in out there before. I'm trying something new anyway. Talking to somebody over the phone that's some miles away from me. So you know. I just go ahead and say it. I'm like, you know, I like you. You know, you cool. And um, I ask her, you know, of course, everybody asks, you, do you like me back? She told me I better get in line. So I told her, you know, this no line game. I used to promote clubs, so I was cocky anyway. I'm like, Man, I ain't never worried about getting in nowhere. I ain't stood in line for nothing. Never will, never was, never have been. <laughs> So, I stood in line. <laughs> I mean, she put me in that line. I ain't gonna front, you know. And it was it was a humbling situation. It was good. I deserved to go into the line, especially the way I was at the time. Uh, Pause. This is some tea breaker. Tea for the day. Guess what, you guys? There was no line. <laughs> I just say that. See, yeah, see, we, see, we'll fight for me. Whatever, and I did. He Either fought way, for me. I did. Either way, he fought for me. <laughs> okay, I'm playing. Do it. She for real. Anyway, I um, I did. I fought for her because I wanted her. Aww. Some, something was different. I felt like that moment I asked and I went to God for something I really wanted to do. I felt at the time I was mature enough to handle that I decided that, you know, God was sending that for me. So we went through a period where we was just talking, you know, we wasn't being too flirty or no, we were just really getting to know each other over the phone. So I was talking to her for a little bit. She was talking back and we was texting throughout the day, a little conversation more here and there. And we started getting in the habit to where before we hang up the phone, we start saying, I miss you. Oh, remember. So then um, one, that, that I miss you, that went on for about at least a month. Mm-hmm. So this is like right around. We, we was like, we started saying, I really, really miss you. I was right, doing that. Right. So I really want to say. <laughs> so this is like mid no, end of July, like right by my brother's birthday. His brother, his birthday is July thirty first. So this was right before his birthday. Um, I'm sitting in my room. And I'm just. I've been thinking about this all day. I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. I've been thinking about it all day, and that's something I ain't never told her. Even I've been thinking about this literally all day. I prayed about it, and I was trying to make sure I'm making the right decision. And, you know, the type of person I am, I put all the calculations together in my head. This got to be the right move. So, I told her I had something to tell her. And I told her I love her. 
I told her it's something I can't control. I ain't, I don't care if you don't feel the same way as me. I'm just putting it out there because you can't learn how to swim with sharks unless you jump in the water. Aww. So I and what I say about time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just about to say I was very surprised by her reaction. I ain't gonna lie. Cause I, I was said already loving stuff, this boy right show. But. <laughs> I love you too, baby. Mm -hmm. So, I was I was very surprised though. Even though I said all that stuff before. Now, mind you, guys, let's let's woo -doo 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 -doo. mind you. I told him I'm gonna make you fall in love with me. He was she like, did I did skip that part? He was like, yeah, right, Nicole. <laughs> I, I heard it before. I heard it a few times. I mean, that's that's something that usually where I'm from. Uh, I ain't gonna say what part of Atlanta, but usually where I'm from, when women like you like that and they want to control your life, that's usually what they come out with first. So <gasps> I usually hear that a lot when it comes to relationship going or dating, whatever. Which I mean, honestly, she was my first relationship. I didn't have relationships before this. And before him, I was in terrible relationship. So just saying. <laughs> yeah, and that's a lot of the part where this relationship has been very successful mm -hmm. because I was willing to build what somebody else had broke down. 